while taking dictations, we may come across with figures or proper names like that. So in such cases, how to write the numbers or figures, we deal with that in this class. See figures, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, we can write in shorthand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like that. 8, we can write T, we can write T also, but we may read it as it or at 8. 8 we can write. So, if you can write T, okay, otherwise you put the figure 8. Then 9, M, M hook we can write 9. Then 10 also we can write 10. So, like this we can write the figures. Now, if there are round numbers, let us see. 100, 400, write N below that figure. 4, you put N. Instead of writing 400, 4, 0, 0, like that. Then 1000, 8, it. You put the number 8, it, it stands for 1000. Then 700, N stands for 100. So, N stands for 100, it stands for 1000. Then million, M stands for million. B stands for billion, 3 billion, 2 million, like that. Rupees, they circles through the length. Rupees, rupees, 5000. 200, like that, we can write. Dollar is represented by D. For plural, we can add surplus. 15,000 dollars. Pounds, P hold N hook. 20 pounds, we can add surplus also. Similarly, franc, F. 300 francs, we can add surplus. Or without surplus also, we can represent. Similarly, KG. 5 kg, K represents kilograms. We can add circles or not. Then, percent, 8, P. You write P, P stands for percent. Then, paragraph. No paragraph can be indicated by long lines like this. Across the line. Then, parenthesis. Suppose, you want to put any word in brackets. Then, the bracket is written like this. This bracket is intersected by a short line. Left bracket, right bracket. The figures can be written like this. Then, suppose when you are taking dictation, there may be a new word. A word of a different language will come. Suppose Indian languages, Telugu, Malayalam, like that. Nalgonda, suppose. Raigar, suppose such words will come. Uh, not belong to English provinces. Then it is difficult for us to uh, write such a proper names in shorthand. You try to write the first two or three strokes and insert vowel signs in shorthand. Or a short method is this that because you are familiar with your mother tongue. You write first two letters of that, two or three, depending upon the speed of the dictation. So, if you want to write the word with the spelling, it is very difficult. So, you will have to find out your own methods to record the proper names. For any proper name, you try to write it in shorthand, try to write the full outline and insert the vowel signs. Or, you can write one or two letters, as many letters as possible in your, in the script of your mother tongue. Suppose in Telugu, Vijayawada, quickly we write two letters at least, so that we can remember. Suppose if we write Vijay, then Vijayawada, like that. If it is in Hindi, suppose you put, quickly you can write Vija, Vijayawada, like that. In your own mother tongue, Letters of your own mother tongue can be jotted down quickly.